Why can't we throw punches in dreams? A lot of people have had this happen to them. They're in a dream and a situation arises in which they need to kick, punch, or swing something. Only when they do, it feels like they are punching through water or jelly. The punch has no force and feels very strange. Once paying attention, they find nothing feels completely correct. Walking, running, jumping, picking things up, or touching things. All of it feels close, but not quite. So, why is this the case? How come I can't punch someone in my dreams, even if they deserve it? There are a couple of things at play here. The brain and sleep. When you drift off and reach REM, or rapid eye movement, sleep, your brain is actually very active, but does not want any of that activity to translate to physical movement. So during REM sleep, your brain essentially turns off all of your skeletal muscles to prevent any action in your dream from being acted out physically. This is to prevent accidental injury. A quick side note, this is also what causes sleep paralysis. A person wakes up or becomes semi-conscious before their brain turns their limbs back on. It's usually related to a sleeping disorder and may or may not include a sleep paralysis demon conjured up by your mind. Anyway, this is a part of why your actions and dreams feel off. Your actual body is immobile, so all you have is your dream body. Strong, quick actions are dampened by your brain in response to your physical body being prevented from moving. This isn't the primary reason for why you can't punch, but it is a part of it. Sensory Feedback The main reason why you can't punch in dreams is simple. Your brain relies on sensory feedback to properly function. When you are in REM sleep, your limbs are frozen in place and are unable to offer any sensory feedback. When you throw a punch when you are awake, the sensory feedback of your entire action allows your brain to calculate weight, strength, and motion. In a dream, your brain has none of this, and as a result, it needs to go off memory and make things up as it goes along. This is where people's experiences differ. Some people's brains will do a better job simulating weight and power, but a lot end up doing a very poor job of it. If you don't do an activity in real life, your brain has less information to go off. If you don't regularly punch people in the face, it'll feel less real in your dreams than if you make a habit of punching people in the face. This is also why the weights of swords, rocks, vehicles, and so on feel so wrong in dreams. Your brain is making things up based on limited sensory knowledge. It's like playing a game where basic parameters are not inputted and are instead randomly generated based off imprecise guidelines. In summary, a lot of people can't throw a solid punch in their dreams because their brain is inhibiting motion and simulating physics with no sensory feedback. If your arm is not talking to your brain, your brain will make up weight and power calculations that are often wrong, resulting in the feeling of punching in water or having no strength. Even other sensory information can be affected. Think about it. Do things ever feel, taste, or smell different or even wrong in your dreams? Do people sometimes move as if they have more or less flexibility? Do buildings and trees sometimes behave oddly when interacting with equally odd weather? Does gravity ever feel off? Does water sometimes not feel wet? Once you start paying attention to these simple sensory details, you start to realize that dreams, even ones that felt normal, tend to have very odd environments. The brain is very good at processing information and making sense of the physics of the world around us. But when told to simulate those same physics without feedback, it tends to struggle, with often surreal results.